Hi again. I just wanted to make a quick video about all the documents that you have to take to your visa interview and your biometrics. And at the end of this video, I also have another experience from one of my friends who just finished their visa interview like two hours ago. Stay tuned for that. I do not want to delay at all. Let's get into it. So the most important documents that you do need are first your passport, your I-20, your appointment confirmation. Where can you get this? You log into your, you go to the CGI website, you log in, you go to your dashboard and look for appointment confirmation link. There you can download it and it should look something like this. I'll attach a picture of this. After this, you should also take your service payment confirmation. And finally, most of you may not know this, take at least two copies of your picture with a white background, a two by two inch photo. Okay, I will explain why in the end. These are the most important documents. When you're standing in the line, they're going to ask for your appointment confirmation page. After that's been verified, you go inside. The visa interviewer will ask for your passport and your I-20. In most cases, this, these are all they will be asking, but have everything else just in case. Let me show you how I took mine. I have a fat file like this. It's it has so many compartments you open it and it's heavy too moving on to the other documents that you do need to carry with you your ds160 your mark sheets your transcripts your degree certificates your provisional certificates if you're a working professional then your salary slips or something that proves that you do work in that company your internship certificates. Next would be your financial documents. So that will be your loan sanction letter if you are taking an educational loan, your CA report, the valuation reports, your FD deposit, that certificate that you'll have, any more supporting documents related to finances that too have every single document you can with you. And if you have changed your name anytime during your life, then carry the Gazette certificate with you. Next are all the entrance exams that you've written. So your GRE, GMAT, IELTS, TOEFL, any other exam that you've taken, the mark sheets of those have some of the copies with you. And finally would be your state and your national IDs. In India, it will be your Aadhaar card, your PAN card, your driver's license and anything else that you have. I will definitely mention all of these documents in the description box down below, do not worry. And if I have missed out any document, let me know in the comments below. I will pin the comment or I will add it in the description box, we'll figure it out. So now let me go on to explain about another visa experience that one of my friends had. This happened on June 14th, 2023. My friend decided to go to the University of Delaware. She went to her interview. The interviewer saw the I-20 and went, oh, Delaware, that's nice. What is the mascot of your university? And my friend said, Blue Hen. And that was it. The visa officer scanned her passport and her picture did not show up on their computer. And my friend was directed to another counter. She went there. They asked for two photocopies and my friend did not have it with her. So my friend was asked to go get two by two inch photos of herself. She went out, she had to return within half an hour. So she went out, she managed to get a few pictures. She came back and she was directed to the same person that she went to before, but that person had left. There was another person. My friend was scared that she was going to be asked more questions, but luckily they did not. Once she, uh, once she submitted her pictures, they just said, yeah, your visa is approved. Congratulations. Have fun in the US. She was asked to scan her fingerprints. All of that was done. And that was it. Imagine for one question, it would have literally taken like 20 seconds. And my friend had to run around Hyderabad. Sorry. My friend had to run around Hyderabad city to get a couple of pictures and come back. So do not make this mistake. When you go to your interview, make sure to take two photocopies, at least two photos with you. I will maybe link a Google doc below. You can refer to that for the checklist of documents and also a couple of more questions that you can prepare before you go to your interview. Good luck with your interview. If any of you have finished your visa interviews already, 
comment your visa experiences it could help a lot of other students we never know if you found this video helpful consider subscribing to my channel like this video i have a few more videos of my life in the us as an international student go check them out that could be you in a few months check them out and let me know what you think about them i'll see you again in another video very soon bye bye until then